Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Regroup Show. I am your host, LJ Walker, a real estate investor helping you realize your dreams of owning a home or investing in one. So let's talk about uh, Chrisley Knows Best. Listen, this show, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a huge fan of it. However, when it's on, I do tend to watch it. As some of you who are fans of the show, and for those of you who are not, uh, Mr. Chrisley is a real estate developer. The show is based around him and his family. He has properties in both Georgia and Tennessee. He probably has properties in other places as well, but those are the two places that I'm most familiar with him. Because like I said, I don't keep up with the show as much as I should. Okay. Well, I was running across an article in The Real Deal and I found that they actually have been found guilty of bank and wire fraud as well as tax evasion. Am I surprised? I'm a little bit surprised, but I'm not overwhelmingly surprised because unfortunately there are so many different cons and scams going on. It's not even funny. Now, um, not to necessarily say that these people are cons and scams, and I'm going to say allegedly, uh, they were found guilty. But the reason why we'll, we'll use the term alleged is because I believe that an appeal is going to happen. Not only that, I also say this is because of something that happened in their past, well, I, which I will get to uh, a little later in this broadcast. You see, the other thing is, it's still not clear to me because I don't have as much facts as I would like. And it's really difficult because the way they have set up their company, the way they have set up their business is a little bit confusing, right? And when you're at that particular level, there's layers to how you structure your business. It's not like someone who's just a startup company, right? So it's not really that easy to dig into. And even though they are found guilty, have been found guilty, it's the word is still out as to whether or not did they intentionally mean to scam or was it an accident? All right. So the bank and the wire fraud, what, from my understanding, what I've, the little information that I've gathered is that uh, they falsified documents on their loan. They did not fill out the application 100% accurately, if you will. They may have fudged a few things. Um, And that's where the fraud is. So now if they were the ones that filled out that paperwork or instructed someone to fill out the paperwork for them a particular way, then I have to say, yes, that would that would be considered fraud. As things go out, uh, develop. Here's here's what they've been accused of. And let me also talk about their accuser. One of their accusers is a former employee. This former employee claims that he had an affair with Mr. Chrisley. Okay. Mr. Chrisley says that this former employee is bitter because they are a former employee. You see, so, and, you know, both of them could be right. We, you know, we don't know. We, we, we have not been in their bedroom to confirm whether or not there was an affair, uh, whether or not he instructed this gentleman to do uh, certain things. And this gentleman claims that not only did they falsify documents, what they wanted to do was go to small banks because as many of you know who are seasoned investors, small banks tend to give you money 
uh, quicker, easier than the bigger banks. The bigger banks tend to go through a, a very fine tooth comb before you're accepted. Sometimes it takes 60 days or 90 days before you're approved, while a smaller bank is a little bit more lenient. And sometimes they may even have better rates depending on where you buy, right? So they, they said that they were going to borrow a huge sums of money from various small banks. And then the plan was to file for bankruptcy so that it would delay them paying those banks back or just uh, not paying at all on some of those loans. There is a little trick to that as well that some people do employ. Well, uh, this particular former employee, this is what he accused the Chrisleys of doing. He also accused them of not reporting everything on their taxes. So not only is the Chrisleys going to jail, but also the accountant. Here's the thing, me personally, I do have a problem with that because I work so hard, right? That doing taxes, taxes are very confusing. They're not that clear. That's why I hire an accountant to do it for me. So I do think, I, I know it's the law, but I do think it's unfair that people go to jail for a mistake that an accountant does. Now on the flip side, I do know and I have heard from accountants that sometimes people want the accountant to fudge the numbers. Sometimes people submit certain claims or submit certain uh, receipts to accountants wanting them to take it off their taxes and it is something that cannot be deducted from the taxes, right? So I understand that as well. But if you're paying someone money to do something and they do a bad job of it, I still don't think it is fair for the government to come after you. I feel like the government should only come after the accountant. That That's just me personally. Because the Chrisleys, let's face it, they are not the only ones in, well, at least not in my lifetime, where uh, they have been accused of tax evasion. I feel as though that is something that the accountant and the bookkeeper should be responsible for, uh, not you. And that's another reason why many question, well, did they scam on purpose or was this an oversight? Was there some sort of misunderstanding? Because most people in this world, they just send all of their documentation to the accountant and rely on them heavily to do it because trying to do the taxes yourself, let's face it, it's very complicated. And even, even though it is a good idea to check over what your accountant has done, done and make sure that the numbers actually add up correctly, most of us, honestly, that's not something that we're going to, we're going to do, even though we should do it. And even if you do do it, how do you know all the time that they put the right number in? You know what I mean? So um, that's that's one area where I have an issue, okay? But what I think really put them under is not the accusation from the former employee. I think it was also, I, I, I'm almost certain it was also their daughter who claimed, um, who made a number of claims against her parents, which was really deep. And from what I understand, I believe she's even filed a restraining order, which is like, now, you know, that part, to be quite honest with you, is a little startling to me. <laughs> okay. So I, um, I may be looking at this a little closely um, there's limited you know I'm limited as far as what I can really do again let me just uh, I should have said this earlier I'm not a lawyer I'm not an accountant 
I'm just a real estate investor and this is just my opinion okay <laughs> next the other reason why I have some questions on this first of all you know I do believe I, I smell an appeal coming I just do uh, previously there the this is not their the Chrisley's first time around when it comes to legal issues and legal troubles they have been accused I believe it's either uh, tax evasion um, or, or some sort before they actually sued the tax department in the, of their county in Georgia where they were at at that particular time and they won yes because it turns out that the tax department was actually targeting the Chrisleys and you see this is the thing and I've, I know that I've mentioned this before but I'll say it again just in case anybody is new when you are on TV and even on social media the IRS is looking property tax departments they're looking insurance companies are looking other employers they are looking they go to your social media to verify sometimes just to see what type of person you are and when they see you with certain items and when they see you with certain things that rings alarms in their heads and they're like okay well wait a minute I know he does X Y and Z but how is it that he has money to do ABC and they will start calculating and this is exactly what they did they'll start calculating to find out how it is uh, that you're able to afford certain things mind you and, I, and I'm just gonna put this out there I've never worked for the IRS but I have read books from people who have worked in the IRS. It wouldn't be far-fetched. Um, one of the things that was mentioned is that there is jealousy. I don't doubt that because jealousy, honestly, is in every company. It's in every department. There's at least one person, you know, that, that's going to be like, hmm, you know, uh, a, a bit of a hater okay if you will so when you're out there like that and you're flaunting uh, or you're or maybe not flaunting but you're just a bit flamboyant and 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 what have you these companies they're gonna they look at that they judge that they're gonna eventually uh, look for receipts there they send out fraud investigators believe it or not to make sure that you're on the up and up okay so being that they had their own TV show it was pretty much out there for the world to see now I understand that Bravo recently canceled uh, their TV show and uh, cut ties with them at this particular moment uh, it's it's really unfortunate in certain ways but you know we will see eventually uh, what can we take from this what can we learn from this moving forward those of us who even though we may say okay we're not on the same level as the Chrisleys right uh, what we can learn is this when we're filling out those loan applications be truthful don't fudge any numbers uh, don't put the wrong uh, phone number address you know just be as honest as possible right because even the little guys who try to apply for the PPP loans and they lied on their applications many of them are in trouble okay so if it can happen to the Chrisleys 
it can it can, don't don't think that it won't happen to you that you will be overlooked okay uh next thing to to think about is um you, you know you may if if numbers is just really not your thing um if anybody in the family is good at math if anyone else is is an accountant or just find yourself another accountant and just have them go over your tax return so that this way you don't get in trouble you know uh that that's the only thing i can think of if you can think of another uh way around trying to avoid quote unquote tax evasion that would be great uh but yeah you're gonna have to shop for a good good accountant uh number one you're gonna two you got to be on top of them to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do and then number three don't make them fudge numbers and put in receipts that don't apply to any deduction on the return uh you want to be as clean as possible right uh, you want, it's also important to keep all of your documentation, documents matter, contracts, receipts, uh, bills, you want to keep those, save them to a flash drive if you have to, because you never know when, uh, something will happen that's, you know, not, not necessarily in your favor and you may need to go to court and prove yourself. Uh, as you know, as we see that they've been in court before on more than one occasion regarding this. And then lastly, I would say, just be careful what you put out on social media. Um, many of us don't have a TV show like the Chrisleys, but we do have a social media platform. Um, whether it's large or small, I would say just be careful. Think before you post, <laughs> if you will. Because again, don't think that, oh, well, he was on TV for the world to see and the world saw him. You never know who is following you. You, nev you never know. I've been followed by well, the person is not, does not work at my firm anymore, but uh, by this person did work in human resources. All right. So if it can happen to me with, you know, it can definitely happen to anybody. Be careful, you know, how you present yourself on social media because uh, you, you would, be surprised at you know who is not just watching you and not just liking your post but I mean there are people who actually sit down and take notes and yes they are the IRS yes they are uh, various tax departments in various from various counties and yes they are insurance companies and yes there are future employers Okay, and whatever you say can and will be held against you. All right, so guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Hopefully, the information that I've shared will help you make smart financial moves. Feel free to pass this amongst your friends. Remember, each one, reach one, teach one. Bye for now. Until next time, have a good night.